is about my father, who in the summer of 1964 was one of a number of young people who went to the South, and specifically Mississippi, in order to register African American voters in the face of a lot of intimidation that was happening um, during that time. So I think that, um, first of all, it happens that the summer is the 50th anniversary of that event. Um, and second of all, I think for a walk that is all about peace and reconciliation, the themes are very, um, they all kind of go together. So, the name of this poem is Sweet Gum Bridge. My daddy went to Mississippi the summer of 64. Main Street smelled like iced tea and cigarettes took him back to growing up in Appalachia. When it rained, Hot grass sighed like a frying pan under water, and he could feel Earth's heart rising when fire burned into his car mirror late at night. He pumped the gas to 70, 85, eyes staring into darkness, and prayed their pickup trucks could not handle the speed. Sometimes, the nearest inn was run by blacks, only for blacks. Their heads made silhouettes in the upstairs window when he pounded, saying, I am fighting for you. By the end, he wondered what anyone was fighting for. In the low beams, nails rusted porch out front with two rocking chairs, though one is always empty now his wife is gone. My daddy took the empty one and wondered how she'd rocked herself, how many times she'd sunk into that familiar frame and cried. The old man would not tell him. In the yard, grass green and overgrown, weeds laced with dandelions and a yellow web. The old man said, there's thistles underneath, but I never do recall where. They'll spike you good if you're not careful. They drank iced tea and watched clouds pile against magnolia trees. The old man said, you ain't seen nothing till you've seen it rain in Mississippi. Big, fat drops. Warm as tears and soft as butterflies, you ought to sit out the rain, no sense driving back to town in this. My daddy said, I'm sorry, sir, to repeat myself, but let me tell you once more, I am with the Justice Department, we are here to record injustices against you, the people of Mississippi, I give you my word, whatever you say, I will write down, send back to Washington, maybe make your life a little better. The old man said, don't it move quicker than anything, look there. Narrow, strong, the river flowed around his yard and down into the woods, and sure enough there were drops in the water, pinpoints of something happening. Sky black, above the trees, my daddy said, I have never seen a storm blow up so fast. The old man said, then you ain't from Mississippi, though you talk like you are. My daddy said, he wasn't from so far away. He said, sir, have you lived here all your life? And the old man grinned tobacco and holes where teeth should be, saying, not yet, not unless you've seen me die and go to heaven. <laughs> My daddy laughed and drank his tea, watched wind whip across the yard, grab hold of the laundry and shake it like a woman's skirt. The old man said, she always got the laundry off the line before a storm. Not like me, I just wear wet clothes. Ain't so bad once you start. Drops like bullets on the tin roof. And my daddy sat up and said, Sir, I appreciate your time. And I'll be going now. As long as there is nothing you want to tell me, the old man said, Wait a minute. But the minute stretched out and out until it nearly popped, and my daddy saw fear washing out his eyes. The old man looked out at the laundry and down at boots splitting open against the dusty boards. He said, I don't have anything to tell. And my daddy said, well, it was a pleasure to meet you. And he put on his hat and jacket and said, don't you laugh at me when I get soaked by this rain. The old man tried to smile, but there were only holes where teeth should be. My daddy stood at the edge of the porch, breathing damp woods and all the thistles in the yard, and he walked through warm pounding down to the bridge across the river. Soft boards, nails bent from how many thunderstorms, and not a bit changed. He took a step, then another felt the bridge shudder, gathering strength, and he heard, wait. The old man clutched the porch, boots fumbled to reach the yard, then overalls and hats soaked through down to the bridge. He met my daddy in the middle. Daddy's eyes, mockingbird gray, and the old man saw that he believed in being there in that minute stretched to breaking over a river rushing to get somewhere else. 
old man put a hand to the soggy rope and said, this here, I built it when I was 17. Keeps fixing to break, but it still holds on. I call it Sweet Gum Bridge. Cheeks smeared with rain, he said, I'm sorry. Seeing pickup trucks burning into windows late at night, disappearing too quick for his old bones to get up and find the shotgun, heart beating fast as he wished his legs would go, seeing yards got up in flames, the shape of Christ Almighty, and men sitting all day outside the barber shop watching the voting booths, seeing daddy and granddaddy not much changed and water rushing under his feet, he said, I'm sorry, but you haven't seen the way these woods can listen. You don't know what it means to say injustice on this bridge. I'm sorry. And Daddy felt wetness through the bone and said, maybe we're not supposed to speak today. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Said, write your story. I'll write mine too. Maybe someday when we're dead and buried in Magnolia Sweet Gum Woods, our stories will meet up on this bridge, shake hands, and have a real talk. Old man said, yeah. Or maybe they'll just fish together. Look over the edge and down as the river flows on by. Thank you.